Hi guys, it's Ms. Ayers. I've put together a brief video to try to serve as a reference for you as you write topic sentences. Topic sentences are tiny, tiny little pieces of your essay that have a huge impact on your grade. So I thought I'd make a video for you to refer to as you compose the essay, hoping for some good results. So let me give you a description of what topic sentences do. Uh, the first thing is simple enough. They're the first sentence of a body paragraph. The second thing they do is a little tougher to, to discern. They're boundary setters for your body paragraph. What I mean by that is a topic sentence determines what everything in your essay will be about. So if you begin to discuss ideas in your essay that aren't covered by your topic sentence, your topic sentence didn't set the boundary and you didn't do your job. Your ideas have just become harder for your reader to follow. Finally, a topic sentence should cover an aspect of your thesis. Notice that it should not restate your thesis. Um, your thesis is what states your thesis. The other thing a topic sentence doesn't do is it doesn't give an example by itself. It doesn't give an example of the plot. It just gives a side of your thesis that you'll talk about in the whole essay. So let's see what I'm talking about. All right, let's work with a sample thesis. I came up with a, a thesis that I thought would honestly be indefensible. It would be terrible. Nobody's going to write about this. Um, that In the Crucible by Arthur Miller, Abigail Williams is an unsung hero. She's not. She's a really bad person. I just didn't want to use an idea anyone was going to write about. But let's say, hypothetically, that's what I believe, that Abigail Williams is a pretty cool person. She's an, an uh, underrepresented hero from the, uh, the Crucible. Okay, so what i got to think about then is why I believe this. So let's say, for example, I thought Abigail Williams would be a good unsung hero because, first of all, she lives in this culture, um, this Puritan culture, where emotions are really stifled. So one thing she does well is she understands what passion is. And that's a really hard thing to do in her, cult in her culture. So I think that makes her a hero. Uh, clearly she understands what passion is because, um, you know, well, we all know what happens with her and John Proctor. So anyway, that could be an idea I could give examples of. I could give quotes of that that show that, sh that, show that she understands what passion is. Then let's say um, I also admire her because, uh, and I think she's a hero because she stands up to powerful people throughout the play. Let's use proper grammar. We've got to apply our deal well. So she stands up to powerful people throughout the play. We can think of times where Abigail Williams uh, intimidates Paris. Uh, she even frightens Lieutenant Governor Danforth. Um, she holds a lot of lives in her hands. So um, that, that makes her a powerful person who can stand up to other powerful people. And maybe in my view that makes her an unsung hero. Okay. I, I realize in this video I've made this sound really easy, and writing good topic sentences is hard. But what I want you to do is, if you're wondering as you write your essay, am I doing a good job staying on topic? Am I doing a good job of leading the reader through my thesis? Refer to this video, and my guess is you'll have an idea if you're on track or not. Good luck with your papers, guys. See ya.